My name is Charlotte Yearwood Martin. My name is Jan. I'm Raz. And my name is Ronke Ajidao. My name is Gillian Eastman. The Kofo Rola Abeni Pat Fellowship is named after one of the first black nurses in the NHS. And it's the first anti-racism fellowship for nurses, midwives and AHPs. This fellowship is very unique. It had given us an opportunity to actually have an impact and make a change. It was set up to address the race inequality that there is with regards to career progression and training and development opportunities within the Trust. We've been using two distinct pathways. So empowerment, where we've been looking at trying to empower nurses, midwives and AHPs from an ethnic minority background, and also allyship, where we've been looking at trying to improve the culture of inclusion. The application and interview workshop was a means by which we feel we need to empower staff, give them a bit more as to the process of application, uh, go through the process of shortlisting, and also the, going through mock interview. That's actually the aspect that I found really, really uh, good and useful. That we have engaged to all of the internationally recruited nurses and ensure that we actually hear them and try to support them as much as we can so that they they can feel supported so that they can progress in their career. So I've been a real part of the career clinics, um, offering career conversations to staff nurses and midwives and hopefully giving them the chance to work out their dreams, their aspirations or to figure out what their next step is. We held a workshop, some, myself and some of the fellows, working in East London and the surrounding areas to address um, issues to do with fertility and that workshop has led to women coming forward for treatment. Something that I'm particularly proud of is that we ran some listening sessions so we allowed AHPs from an ethnic minority background whose voices had never been heard before to really have a chance to speak up and really have a chance for us to listen to them. And then what we did with that data is we presented it back to the senior leadership team. Without something like this voices are not heard. Without a, a fellowship like this, people feel that they're not being listened to. So one of the benefits of the fellowship is we are here as a gap between senior leaders and the shop floor, those staff nurses and those AHPs and, and everyone in the Trust who feels that they're not being developed and they're not being listened to. We're advocate, advocating for ourselves, advocating for our, for our colleagues and for our patients. So uh, uh, through the fellowship, I've been able to find my voice and been able to be an advocate. This is one thing that I'm very passionate about. That's why I have ensured the sustainability of the project that we are doing. And personally, I will carry on doing what we are doing right now. It makes me feel that I'm actually part of a change. It makes me feel that the world is moving and those wheels are turning and it makes me feel a real sense of pride to be part of that movement. I'm definitely um, more confident in terms of my, and, and know where I want to be in terms of my career and progression. I have been very grateful that I have a coach who's a deputy chief nurse and I have learned a lot from him. It's allowed me to think more strategically, to understand the organisation in more detail so that I can work better within the organisation. As I'm leaving the fellowship today, I'm going back to my clinical role, but there are skills that I've, you know, acquired from here that I will take with me, but there are also lots of things that I think I will miss. I think what has been really lovely about the fellowship is we're all very different personalities but we've really come together and gelled as a little work family and a little fellowship family. So I'll miss the camaraderie of five fellows meeting on a Thursday morning. One thing that I'll miss in the fellowship are the people that we work with, the fellows, our managers, our, our mentors, our coach. I will miss that collaboration of thoughts and minds and hearts. That's something that has really made me the happiest I've been in a career in a long time.